the past few days I've been experimenting with abstract art, like what you see here. This is a 3D mesh. It was created using a 2D image, a depth map, and three simple modifiers. And then I enclosed it by creating a cube and surrounded by the cube and then a boolean to cut out the sides of the 3D mesh. It's not perfect, but I enjoy creating it. This could be one of those use cases where it's okay to have a hollow backside for the 3D mesh, as well as look terrible from the side angle because you're enclosing it inside of a cube and you're making it feel like a 3D picture frame or a diorama. So I'm gonna talk about how I created this. The very first step is picking your image. I generated this image using Midjourney. Next is creating your depth map for that image. This is the depth map. You can generate depth maps for free online if you upload one at a time, or you could set up a local environment using something like Comfy UI. I actually used my own tool, it's called Depth Map Batch, and it generates depth maps for a batch of images in a directory, a video file, or a single image. The next step is converting your 2D image and your depth map to a 3D mesh using those three simple modifiers. I'm gonna type in A to select everything in the scene and type H to hide. Then I'm gonna open up the original image, which is this one here. Next is finding the corresponding depth map, which is this one, and then click apply depth map. And we've got the 3D mesh. The three simple modifiers, let me expand the modifiers tab out, subdivision with the value of eight, displace, which is what you'll use to reference a depth map, and then smooth. And you'll notice I'm actually using my own tool, it's called Z-Form. It does exactly the same thing as what's on the right side, except instead of doing multiple clicks and typing here, you can just do three simple steps here. Next is I'm gonna apply all the modifiers and this is what the mesh looks like. Next is creating the cube. Let me unhide the cube. It's nothing fancy. I did some extrusions and then removed the face in the front. You'll see that the cube is a little bit smaller than the 3D mesh. The way I handled this step is going into X-ray mode and then just scaling the cube to fit around the 3D mesh or a little bit smaller. So I go in the front view and scale the cube on the x-axis and then go to the top view pressing seven and then moving it around the mesh like this and then maybe scaling it for SY to scale the y-axis until you get to a point where it fits nicely around the 3D mesh. Then I would get out of x-ray mode. If you want to get into x-ray mode, just type in shift Z to get in x-ray mode and then out just type in shift Z again. You'll notice that the 3D mesh is extending beyond the cube this is a simple fix by adding a Boolean modifier. Let me add the Boolean, and then I'm gonna to go to intersect and select the object, which is the cube. Then you got yourself a pretty nice 3D picture frame or diorama, and that's it.